We're going to look at this problem here. We need to analyze the circuit shown in figure 5.24a, which is the one right here. Now, let's not look at B. Um, that's when we have the circuit with some more analysis details, but let's just focus on A for now. So part A is we're going to determine the voltages at all nodes and the currents through all branches. We're going to let our T of N equal to 1 volt, and the K prime N W over L, which is our K of N, equal to 1 milliamp over RB squared. Now we are to neglect the channel length modulation effect, so that means this is going to be equal to zero, lambda is equal to zero. And so for this, if we are looking at this, we have some voltage right here, VDD. We have some resistor right here, and we have a resistor right here, and then the same thing for these two. Now these resistors are going to be the same values, right? They're the same values, 10 mega ohms. And so if we have two resistors of the same value, that means the voltage at the node in between them is going to be half the voltage that's going into them, like a voltage divider. And so this is going to be our five volts. And we can see that we use like the voltage divider right here. In the previous problem, we bound it to ground, but this one, we're not going to bias it to the ground because if we bias this to the ground, it's going to turn off. Therefore, we must be biased somewhere else between the positive and our negative power supplies. Without instruction, we're going to assume that this is in saturation. We're going to have to go back and check our results to ensure we assumed correctly, otherwise we'll have to redo this again, but for triode, not saturation. For this question, it's safe to assume it's in saturation because it's acting as an amplifier, and MOSFETs only make good amplifiers in saturation. So we are going to refer to figure 5.24b. It's going to be this one. Since the voltage at the gate is five volts, we found this right here. The voltage at its source is going to be I M A times six. So this, and the reason why we are looking for this voltage right here is because we want to find the voltage at this gate, right? If we look at the previous problem, we see that this is the voltage right here and it's zero because it's grounded. Well, this one, we actually have a circuit connected on the left, right? So we have some voltage right here going into our gate. So that's the gate voltage, right? The five volts. And um, now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to find the other values. And so what we have here is we're saying that our ID times six is going to be our VGS, right? The V gate source. So we have five minus our six times the ID. So now let's actually find our I of D. Well, our ID is given to us right here for n watts and saturation. We're going to plug in these values, and these were previously given to us up here. Once we plug them into the equation, we're going to result in this, so we're going to have to use the quadratic equation. Quadratic equation is, of course, going to yield us two values, a 0.89 milliamps and a 0.5 milliamps. The first value, 0.89, shows a source voltage of about 5.34 volts. And that's going to be greater than our gate voltage, which is right here at the VG. And so since this value, right, or 0.89, is greater than what we have going into it, well, that's not going to be valid. We're not going to use that. Um, instead, what we're going to use is our 6 times the 0 0.5 milliamps, and that's going to be less than the gate voltage here. And this 6 is just this resistor, because remember, we have resistor times current. That's going to give us the voltage here. So we're going to use the fact that our ID is 0 0.5 milliamps. We're going to be looking at our V source. So our V source is going to be the source voltage going into our gate, right? So we have the current ID times the resistor. Our current is 0 0.5 milliamps times the 6. That's going to give us a 3 volts. And it's a 6 kilo ohms, so that's going to manipulate it to be 3 volts. Now our VGS is going to be equal to the V gate minus our V source. And so our V gate we found to be 5 volts, right? We have 5 volts going into the gate. Our source voltage right here, we just found to be three volts. So we have five minus three, and that's two volts. So we should have this VD, which is our seven volts, minus our VG, which is five, minus our VTN, which is this three. So we get seven volts is greater than two volts. And since this is true, our assumption was correct. We were in saturation, and we've solved the problem, right? It's asking us to analyze the circuit and determine the voltages at all the nodes and the currents flowing through the branches. So we found the ID here, ID here, um, and we found the voltage across this node right here. And so that's going to be it for this problem. Uh, if we got, if we get to here and our assumption is wrong, 
we would just have to do it, redo it, except use, instead of this equation, the one for a triode.